Deciding the fate of every living being. So what's deciding the fate now? It's a replicating molecule. It's called natural selection. Now, as I understand it, natural selection didn't even graduate from kindergarten. Natural selection doesn't know what fairness is. It doesn't know what dignity is. It doesn't know what proportionality is. It doesn't know what waste is. It doesn't know what deserve is. It doesn't know what consent is. It doesn't have the vocabulary to even read your comment. That's what's deciding now. Basically, there is a dictator in place, dumber than Hitler, the most disgusting dictator you could possibly contrive. Java the fucking hut is now deciding the fate of every living being on this planet. I can do better than that. I'm gonna depose nuclear Adolf Hitler, the worst frickin' dictator that you could possibly contrive. It has no comprehension of decency at all, and I'm supposed to have misgivings. Oh, maybe the mega Hitler is okay after all, because it made pretty colors. It must be okay, it made rainbows. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm supposed to take this seriously. Ah, uh, anyway. The difference between most anti-natalist and red butt natalist, as I understand it, yeah, as you will pervert it and distort it and lie about it, is that ANs, for the most part, want to encourage curbing suffering. Well, again, if you're anti-procreation for population control, you really wouldn't call yourself anti-natalist. You'd say you're for zero population growth. You wouldn't use the word natalism if you thought there was something potentially productive in the act under special circumstances. The only difference between an anti-natalist and somebody who's going to call themselves an ethicist, in my opinion, is first a person has to be comfortable with being associated with me, which is sort of difficult for some people. But the bottom line would be the purpose of ethicism is the word life spelled backwards, because the point is is that the problem isn't human beings. The world would be just as suck if great white sharks ruled the world or tyrannosauruses. They would be just as much of a menace as we are. Deal with the real argument again. Defend nature as deciding the fate of sentient life on Earth. Defend natural selection as a game worth playing. Defend it or shut the fuck up. You people aren't smart enough to say we have to do better than that because you won't come out of the closet and admit what you are. You're a pantheist. So quit being a duplicitous hypocrite and just to admit your pantheism. Admit that you think the DNA is God, that it knows what it's doing, that it has a default right to reverence, that we should all be bowing to its magnificent authority. Admit it. Admit what you are. And quit pretending to be some kind of serious rational thinker when all you are is an astrologist. You're the one who needs to be informed that this is one one hundredth, one one thousandth, one one millionth of the goddamn problem. You're the one who needs the education. You're not really paying fucking attention.